Hey sis, so I was just sitting here in my room by myself um, and my camera just turned on by itself oddly enough so I decided why not take my viewers through my uh, daily makeup routine. I haven't done that yet, you probably have no idea what kinds of things I do to my face on a regular regular basis. So why don't I educate you on that fact? You've caught me right in the middle of my skincare routine. I'm using the Jack Black Double Duty Moisturizer, which I've been using for coming up on three years. It's a very great summer moisturizer because it's not super heavy. I would not recommend it as a winter moisturizer if you are as a tumbly dry as I am. I'm going for something super boring today uh, because all I'm doing is probably going grocery shopping. I don't do anything with my time other than uh, ingesting food and purchasing food, so why not? We might get a little concealer action today because I don't know if you can tell from that far away, but uh, <laughs> we got a new roommate. I don't know who she is or who invited her or why she's here, but we're not gonna fret. We're going to, you know, manifest tranquility and uh, like camaraderie into our days and welcome her to my family, but maybe put her under a blanket just so nobody sees her. We're ready to start on the actual <coughs> fun part of my face. Start with a bit of a priming situation using my super goop unseen sunscreen. I realize that sunscreens don't work mathematically and wearing an SPF 40 and SPF 20 sunscreen does not add up to SPF 60, but I still do it. Because I shouldn't have put these earrings on before I finished working on my face. It's fine. There's not a huge need for me to spend a ton of time zoomed in on this video because we're doing super boring basic makeup. We're not doing a complicated eye look. If I don't put nothing, double negative. If I'm not skipping eyeshadow altogether, I'll do something very sheer and very basic on my lids. Today, I'm taking my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in rose gold. And you see, Okay, we didn't need that. And using my ring finger, I'm just gonna swirl it and pop it on the lid. My nails look incredible right now, so you're welcome for that. Great, it looks like nothing. Whenever I use my fingers to apply my makeup, I feel like one of those models in those milk makeup videos. Hi. I'm Leaf. First step, sunshine skin tint. Ooh. I think I just like watching beautiful people rub Vaseline on their face. <laughs> I think that's my ASMR. My brows, I'll do my brows next. I use a clear brow gel. My brows are naturally jet black, so I never use pigmented brow, brow anythings in them. I'm using the NYX Control Freak right now. My holy grail brow gel for several years was the H&M Clear Shaping Brow Gel, but I stopped using it because it's very hard to find in stores, and also it's like $2 more expensive than this one, so like, you know? Sometimes, uh, exactly what you were looking for has been there the whole time. It's like when you're in a rom-com, which I think we've all experienced, and you realize at the end of the movie that you are like totally butt crazy in love with your best friend, or as it were, ex-stepbrother, whatever is your current circumstance. Cool, mascara. Even on like really basic days, I still like my eyelashes to look like Black Widow spiders crawling out of my eye sockets. There's a fun mental image for you. We'll make it nicer. We don't have to do Black Widow. Brown recluse spiders. Wait, okay, am I gonna get like recommended videos about, oh no. Um, <laughs> today I'm using my old Faithful Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I recently bought this tube and if you've used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara before, you'll know that it's one of those super like thick, gloopy, you know, goopy carbonara type of mascaras that needs a little while to kind of dry out and you know, solidify the tiniest bit before it really like comes in for the clutch. But you know, I'll use it right now anyway. Uh, my unplucked eyebrow hairs say bonjour. Okay, 457 and a half coats later, the lashes are donezo. Let's zoom out and focus on skin. Because uh, I said I would, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on the tip of my nose, which I never do, and I don't like doing, but I will. The concealer that I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. And now I'm too far away again, this is. Hello, welcome back to um, my under eye bags. Uh <laughs> To make, keep my face, you know, dry and powdery, which is how babies like myself like it, I'm going to use something a little farther out. Hello. I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade 
dark. So one thing about this powder, it's extremely sheer. And a lot of people I think weren't anticipating that, which is funny because it literally has the word sheer in its name, but it's very sheer. So if you are a, you know, wannabe glossier type of binge like me, it's perfect for you. But if you want something with a little bit more coverage, no, it, just don't even bother. For blush, I'm gonna use the Ginger Binge half of my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo. <laughs> this little angel right here. I'm going to make a June uh, beauty wish list video, but I think I've already decided on the Fenty duos, the Beach Please collection ones. Should I spoil it here? No, we'll make them wait and suffer. That was dangerous. This is a pigmented blush. <laughs> if that had gone south, oh man. Contrary to popular belief, I don't actually wear highlighter every single day, uh, but when I want to go super basic and boring, I will use my LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. I use the shade 20 Watt, which has a true bronze. This highlighter can get kind of scattered glittery rather easily. So I like to use a very small amount of it. Sure, that works. Oh, I'm using a Wet n Wild brush. Look at how cute it is. It's the Wet n Wild P75 highlighter brush. Oh my God, here's an industry secret. I've been lying to you guys this whole time. I have a small beauty mark right under my left eye right here that I make look darker than it is with eyeliner. I use the Wet n Wild Infinite Eyeliner, which is very old and all of the label is gone. I think my first, my second video, my second beauty video ever, I made a product surrogate buying video and I talk about how I don't like this because it's too thick and goopy to like make an actual line with. Look at this, look at this. Ew girl, how? <laughs> don't let this anywhere near your eyelashes, you will die. Okay, <laughs> but it's cute because in that video it's before I like leaned into being as goofy as I am so I'm like, Gosh, guys, I just really am not a fan of this eyeliner. I, and I sound so like prim and put together and like I know what I'm talking about and I don't scream as much. It's weird, it's like not even me. <laughs> but I use a tiny little dot. I do this every single day, even when I'm not wearing makeup because I'm insecure. <laughs> Literally, that's it. But it's such an absurdly waterproof eyeliner that I don't have to worry about it like rubbing off when I'm crying or sweating, which I'm always doing. <laughs> so the last step of this journey is what I'm gonna put on my lips. And if you've been wondering what lip balm I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Sis, nobody cares what lip balm you're wearing, but carry on. It's the Smith's Rosebud Solve, which is always my go-to impulse buy at the checkout line at Sephora. I'm gonna be daring, I'm gonna try a liquid lipstick. It's a nude color, so it still falls under the category of something I might wear every day. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Give Me Mocha. A formula of liquid lipstick that I uh, don't like at all but the color is so beautiful that I actually repurchased it after not owning it for months because I love it so much. You know, we're gonna put a gloss on top of it. I'm gonna call upon my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Gloss, which is not this color when you buy it. Uh, it's, it just picks up pigment really easily. Half the reason I bought this lip gloss is because it smells like Red Bull, which is one of, weirdly enough, my favorite smells. I never drink it, but I love the way it smells because this is like a chain reaction of scent memory here. When I was a tween, I had a Lip Smackers green sparkly roll-on lip gloss that smelled like Red Bull. It was very important to me and I lost it underneath my bed. 2005 was a rough year for me. To finish everything off, I like to use a setting spray. I'm using the Skindinavia, the makeup finishing spray, the bridal edition. You know, I'm trying to manifest something. So this is my finished everyday makeup. If you've run into me on the street at any point, uh, I'll probably look like this. Except for that one person who DM'd me on Instagram saying that they live in the same town as me and they saw me walking up the street once and I asked them if I looked like I wanted to die and they were like, yeah, kinda. And I'm like, yeah, that's cause I had just gotten off of like a 13 hour shift at my job. <laughs> so unless that's the circumstance, I'll probably look like this. Okay, so before you leave, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day, that would be spectacular. And please consider 
frick, I forgot what quirky thing I was gonna say. Please consider subscribing to my channel. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Goodbye. Oh my god, look at how endearing I am with this yellow shirt. It almost makes it seem like I'm not a demonic Slytherin Scorpio rising. <laughs> but the darkness is always there.